Red Voice News, Splash in the check-in. Thank you for tuning in. And I want to talk about this video that Arnold Schwarzenegger put out titled President Trump is a Failed Leader. Now, Arnold Schwarzenegger, if you don't know, he's a former bodybuilder, athlete, actor, and the governor of California. Uh, he's saying this. Now, before I get into this video, I want to tell you guys that, you know, the content on this channel right here, you know, I don't try to bombard you guys with COVID, 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 COVID. And I don't, I don't get into uh, politics at all. And here's another thing. I will never share my political views on this channel right here. I will never, ever, ever share my political views on this channel. But however, I will tell you guys this. You know, I am a traveler. You know, I have been a foreigner in many different countries. I've traveled to different countries as well. I've lived in several different countries. And one of the things that the locals demand of foreigners whenever they travel or live abroad is that you don't share your opinions or your views on the leadership. You respect the people and you respect the culture. The thing about that is when it comes to Americans, that level of respect is not reciprocated at all. And, and that's just been the culture of America. It's like, OK, you know, we open the doors for immigrants of all over the world, foreigners of all over the world uh, to have the opportunity to get a visa, to relocate, move to America, be able to get a citizen, excuse me, be able to get a citizenship, to be able to get a visa or a green card, whatever the process is and be able to express their opinions, to be able to express their views, even if it's about uh, America and uh, the, the government. But you can't do that same thing in somebody else's country, all right? You can't do that in somebody else's country. And in the beginning of this video, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he does talk about how he was an immigrant. He's from Austria. Uh, he goes on to talk about the night of the broken glass within his own country, and he talks about the hardships he's faced uh, being raised in his own country as well. Now, the thing is, is I, like I said, I would never share my political views. I will never share how I feel about any president for that matter. But the thing is, is to come over here, how privileged can you be to come over here, get into politics, you know, for the American people to uh, support you, uplift you, put you on this pedestal, put you on this platform just to criticize the leadership of the country. That's my only gripe and complaint. Another person is Trevor Noah. You know, you're from South Africa, you get hired on to the Daily Show, and, I mean, the whole shtick of the Daily Show is pretty much, you know, it's to, you know, poke fun at American politics. And it was cool when, uh, what's, you know, it was cool when uh, Jon Stewart was doing it. He's an American. It's cool when, Stephen Colbert is doing it because, you know, he, he's an American. But then you got Trevor Noah and it's like you, you're, you're South African and you're coming over here talking about, uh, you know, poking fun at, at, at American politics. The, the thing with and he, he talks about stuff that goes on all over the world. But, you know, the main thing that the main topics that he touches on is on American politics. Nobody would ever hire me. Nobody would ever hire me in a foreign country. Nobody would ever hire me in Canada. Nobody would ever hire me in a South American country. Nobody would hire me in Africa. Nobody would hire me in Europe. Nobody would hire me in Asia to criticize their, their government, to criticize and to poke fun at their politics. Okay. Now he's saying this, and this is after the, uh, the Capitol riots, this is after the Capitol riots and people are saying, okay, this is the, uh, oh, you know, Americans should be ashamed of themselves. This isn't supposed to be their values. All oh, Americans, 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 Americans. And the thing is, is worldwide people just do not like Americans, dude. I've traveled all over the world. Uh, a lot of people just do not like Americans. But the thing is, is they're pointing the finger at you, but they've done the same thing. I want you to go on YouTube right now and type in people fighting in parliament and you will just see videos after videos of videos of videos of, you know, um, the world's biggest political brawls in 
uh, South Africa, Ukraine, um, Uganda, Taiwan, Turkey. Where else? India, Nepal. Um, I mean, the, the list, Sri Lanka, Georgia, not, not, not Georgia, the state, but Georgia, the country, Iraq, Hong Kong, uh, Boris Johnson is cursing during, uh, first PMQs and house of commons. I mean, it, it, it just goes on and on and on. Uh, what else? What else? I mean, you, you could look at it for yourself. Even back in 2016, there was a coup in Turkey. There was a, a coup in Turkey. Do you think that there, anybody who was an American, American journalist, um, a foreigner who was American, did they get hired at a, a news station over there to openly criticize and poke fun at what's going on outside in Turkey? No. You know, the most a lot of Americans were just saying they were just reporting on the news. That's all they were saying. That's that's all they were doing at that time. But they didn't say, oh, you know, this Turkish president over here, he's a failed leader for this happening. Man, they would they would blow his head off. They would find out where that person was, find out his IP address, get his identity, and they would they would blow his head off. They would make sure that he wouldn't be able to leave that country until something happened to him. Now, yes, I'm, I'm not happy as to what happened, you know, and I'm not even going to get my, I guess just me saying that is just, I'm saying too much because I don't want to get my opinions on what I think about uh, things that, that uh, about that in particular. But I will say this, man, stuff like that, that, uh, that Capitol riot, man, that, that's happened in many different countries. Many, many, many different countries. Like I used to live in Thailand, the red shirts against against the yellow shirts that was going on the entire time I was there. All right. I used to live in China. If I, if I would have ever got on a public platform and said something about Xi Jinping, I, I would be in a Chinese prison right now. All right. And a lot of people might feel, well, you know, America is not a, it's not a homogenous society. So, you know, therefore, you know, that's just the culture. It's not a homogenous society. So they, they, they give them the freedom to, to allow people to come from all over to say whatever it is they want to have freedom of speech. I'm like many different parts of Europe isn't a homogenous society either. Canada is not a homogenous society either, but they wouldn't allow an American to do the same thing that Arnold Schwarzenegger is doing. I mean, even if you look at what's going on in Hong Kong right now, they've made several arrests of people who are outspoken and speaking out against, uh, you know, the, the political structure of mainland China. OK, and these were people that were born and raised in Hong Kong. OK, they've extradited a lot of people and brought them back to I don't even think they were. I don't think they ever lived in China. They just brought them to China to arrest them and put them in jail because they were just going too hard at talking down on China. You see what I'm saying? So I don't feel like I'm wrong for feeling this way. You know, it's just, I, I, I would like the respect to be reciprocated. Let me know what you think below. Am I wrong for feeling this way? Do you feel like this too? Like subscribe, comment, share this video. I'm over and I'm out. If you want to donate to this channel, click the link to the buy me a coffee page. You can either become a member or just send a donation. I'll check you out on the next video. Peace.